Hello, and welcome to this educational series called Welcome to Medicare. This program is presented by the Wisconsin Department of Health Services, which operates the Wisconsin State Health Insurance Assistance Program, or SHIP, a local public service for people with Medicare. Every state has a SHIP program. In Wisconsin, you can get free and unbiased help with Medicare from local SHIP counselors or one of our toll-free helplines. You can download the slides of this presentation by clicking the link in the YouTube video description. This project is supported by a grant from the Federal Administration for Community Living. This program will provide an overview of Medicare and is divided into six sections. You can find this information in greater detail in your Medicare New Handbook, which is mailed to people with Medicare and can also be found on the Medicare.gov website. For easier understanding, you are encouraged to view the parts of the series in order. Welcome to part four of the series. In this section, you will learn about Medicare Advantage plans, also known as Medicare Part C, as well as some brief information about other types of health coverage. Let's look back at our chart that shows our coverage choices. Medicare Advantage plans are an alternate way to receive your Medicare coverage. Medicare Advantage plans cover all the Part A and Part B services and supplies, and usually include Part D. They are run by private insurance companies that are approved by Medicare. You must have both Part A and Part B to join a Medicare Advantage plan. In most plans, you need to use doctors, hospitals, and other providers that are in the plan's network, or you'll pay more or all of the costs. Providers can join or leave a plan's network any time during the year. If this happens, you may need to choose a new provider. You generally cannot change plans during the year if this happens. There are several types of Medicare Advantage plans. Medicare Health Maintenance Organization, or HMO. These plans have provider networks, and you get your care and services from doctors or hospitals in the plan's network. If you get care outside the network, you may have to pay the full cost. Medicare Preferred Provider Organizations, or PPO, are plans that also have a network of doctors and hospitals, but with a PPO plan, you can also use out-of-network providers for covered services, usually for a higher cost. Medicare Private Fee-for-Service, or PFFS, these plans allow you to go to any Medicare-approved doctor or hospital that accepts the plan's payment terms and agrees to treat you. You can also see any of the network providers who have agreed to always treat plan members. You can also choose an out-of-network provider who accepts the plan's terms, but you may pay more. Medicare Special Needs Plans, or SMP, are designed to provide focused care management special expertise to the plan's providers, and benefits tailored to a specific group, including people who live in certain institutions, like a nursing home, people eligible for both Medicare and Medicaid, and people with specific chronic or disabling conditions. Medicare Medical Savings Accounts, or MSA plans, combine a high deductible health plan with a bank account. Medicare deposits money into the account and you can use the money to pay for your healthcare services. You can add a Part D plan to a Medicare private fee for service or a Medicare medical savings account MSA plan that doesn't have prescription drug coverage included. You cannot add Part D coverage to an HMO or PPO plan that doesn't already have drug coverage. If you join a Medicare Advantage plan, you are still in Medicare with the same rights and protections. You must follow the plan's rules for how you get services, such as whether you need a referral to see a specialist or if you have to go to providers in a network. These rules can change each year. You may choose a plan that includes prescription drug coverage. Medicare Advantage plans can't charge more than original Medicare for certain services like chemotherapy, dialysis, and skilled nursing facility care. Each Medicare Advantage plan may have different benefits and cost sharing. You may choose a plan that includes extra benefits, such as vision or dental benefits, which are not covered by original Medicare. You cannot use a Medigap or supplement policy 
with a Medicare Advantage plan. If you join a Medicare Advantage plan, you continue to pay your monthly Medicare Part B premium. People who have limited income and resources may be eligible for assistance with Medicare costs through benefit programs designed for that situation. This will be discussed in Part 5 of the series. There are also other costs you may have to pay, such as an additional monthly premium to the plan, deductibles, co-insurance, and co-payments. These costs are different from original Medicare. They vary from plan to plan, and you may have higher costs if you see a doctor who is out of network. All Medicare Advantage plans have an out-of-pocket maximum. Once you reach this limit, you'll pay nothing for covered services. This limit may be different between Medicare Advantage plans and can change each year. This is something you should consider when choosing a plan. To see current costs under Medicare Advantage plan, also known as Part C, compare plans on www.medicare.gov. When making decisions about your Medicare coverage, it is important to consider the advantages and disadvantages of Medicare Advantage plans. Please keep in mind, Medicare Advantage plans can make changes to their coverage, costs, service area, and more each year. These changes are noted in an annual notice of change that is sent by the plan every year by the end of September. You should review this notice and consider whether the plan will continue to be the best plan for you in the next year. You can compare your plan to other available plans and make any changes during the Medicare annual open enrollment period. This will be discussed further in part four of this series. In addition to what we've already discussed, many people receive their health care coverage through other types of health insurance. Some employers may provide retiree group health plans. If your employer provides this type of plan, it is important to check with the plan for coverage details. Some of these plans may offer credible drug coverage. The best thing to do is to contact your employer or union benefits administrator to find out about how your insurance works with Medicare. Another type of health care coverage is military coverage. This is provided through the Veterans Administration, VA, or TRICARE. And for those who have limited income, health care coverage is available through Medicaid and other financial assistance programs. This concludes part four of the Welcome to Medicare program. I hope this information has been helpful. The next section in the series will discuss Medicare Part D, Senior Care, and the annual open enrollment period. This presentation was brought to you by the Wisconsin State Health Insurance Assistance Program, or SHIP, a local public service that provides free and unbiased help to people with Medicare. If you have questions about Medicare, call one of our toll-free helplines or contact a local SHIP Medicare counselor today. You don't have to go at it alone.